Welcome back to News Channel 11. In the aftermath of the COVID pandemic, a lot of people have been returning to the office, but there's also a rise in mental health crises underway for some workers. Dr. Rohan Nagar is joining us this morning. He's been doing a lot of work with this post COVID mental health that we're seeing. Dr. Nagar, thanks for joining us. Tell us about the pandemic and why now more than ever there are more mental health issues in the workplace. So good morning for uh, good morning, everybody. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, pandemic. Nobody were prepared for the pandemic. It was just hit that way that has affected everybody's mental health very, very badly. They were not prepared. They got a trauma. They never seen this kind of thing. They started staying in the house, isolation, depression, and mental anxiety has increased so much, which they never prepared for. The first of the biggest thing happened, no communications, no physical contact. There is no emotional contact. They don't see the people outside. So it's like a, they're staying, staying in the prison forever. So that has affected that much. So many people are already vulnerable, mentally vulnerable, and COVID hit them very hard. And what issue is this creating in the workplace now that people are returning and, and gathering again? So think, think about this. Somebody is living in the prison for two years and then suddenly going out in the sunlight and, and telling them that, okay, now you have to mingle and see these people. Suddenly there are mental activity, which they are having a daily routines in the house. They have fixed their daily routines and suddenly they have to change, go back to the workplace. Even though they are seeing the same colleagues, they are seeing the same employees, they are not that communicating. I have seen people complaining, the employees complaining and employer complaining coming back to me. The moods are different. Anxiety levels are very high. There is a fear. People not uh, like to talk to each one. If someone didn't wear the mask, they just want to stay away from it. Everybody's asking about, oh, have you taken vaccines? Have you taken the boosters? If they haven't taken, they behave like an alien to them. So you can understand how big gap has been created because of this COVID. The good friends, the family friends become separated apart just because of this horrible trauma. And that's making them more frustrated. And we have got some of the uh, calls from the employees and employers that are becoming violent and, and threatening other employees as well. It, it, it has gone really bad. Uh, real quick, we only have a couple of seconds here. Uh, what is one thing that employers and employees can do to try to help with this? I think the intervention is very important. We have created the mental health assessment program. Everybody should look at into the that program. We are helping them with the meditation, yoga, counseling. We, they need to talk. If they are sitting in the house and not talking out, this will never work. So I suggest intervention is important. Talk to them and help them. Thank you. Dr. Rohan Nagar, thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's a big issue. A lot of people heading back and, um, and getting back into the workplace. We appreciate you joining us. Thanks. Thank you so much.